reason why I'm kind of quiet right now is my roommate's back there. and don't want to make too much noise. But I promise you, when episode two comes out, I'm going to scream as loud as possible so you guys can hear me. But anyway, uh, this is episode one entitled Pretty Boy Flizzy. And as promised, I told you guys that I would do episode review. So let's go ahead and get into it. So if anybody didn't understand what this episode was about, uh, it was basically a parody to Chris Brown's situation. It even has uh, Rihanna's name in it, but they kind of switched it up, of course, because they can't use the same exact name because they can be sued or something could happen along those lines. And they have been, not sued per se, but they have been pressured by other celebrities because they made fun of them in certain episodes. Tyler Perry. <clears throat> yeah, Tyler Perry. But, um... Mainly, this is going to kind of be a kind of a short review. Uh, it was pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there were certain concepts that I saw within this episode that I kind of enjoyed. I kind of enjoyed seeing the dialogue between Tom and uh, Flizzy, you know, on women, and you know his his perspective on how you get women, and, you know, and Tom's perspective on how you keep a woman. And it was cool to see those two concepts intertwined with each other. It's very interesting to me. Um, and, the, of course, Uncle Ruckus, he pretty much made this episode, you know, with the whole, yeah, well, it's nothing to see, you know, just arresting another black guy, you know. He's, he's, oh, he's kind of like an Uncle Tom, of course. You guys know that from the past three seasons. So it was pretty cool. Um, overall, I think this was an ex this episode was executed very well. I think it's a good starter. Um, it really wasn't what I was expecting in terms of... Um, you know, I, th I think it was very good, but I thought it was going to be just blow me out of the water because I haven't seen, you know, Boondocks in a while, so I thought it was going to be good. But it, it capitalized, but, it, you know, it, it, it could have been a little better, but it, it, it was good. So let's go ahead. So I got my notes here on my phone here. I'm just going to pull that out just to, you know, reference some things. Um, so one thing that was cool was... Towards the beginning, Tom thought he he has to change who he is in order to keep in order to keep his woman satisfied. But towards the end, he learned that maybe it's not that he has to change himself. Maybe it's that he has to compromise with it with his significant other in order to better fulfill their relationship. And I thought that was cool because in life. It's kind of personal. Many of us think that we have to change who we are to get the person we want to be with, but that's not always the case. You don't have to necessarily change yourself. You just have to find the right one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I don't want to just, uh, you know, I'm just kind of rambling on here, but I just wanted to kind of give, I guess, my thoughts on that episode uh, of Boondock Season 4, Episode 1, entitled Pretty War Flizzy. So, yeah, so it was cool. I enjoyed it. It was it was definitely a good episode. Like I said, uh, for episode two, I'm definitely gonna go more in depth. You know, I was just kind of stretched on time. Kind of wanted to put something out, just give at least my thoughts on it, and uh, so just leave leave a comment down below on what you thought about the episode. Was it good? Did you enjoy it? Let me know down below. Peace.